Hi everyone, this is Victor from Mellow Robotics and I'd like to put together a set of series about learning ROS. In the last weeks we've been getting a lot of questions about what is ROS and how can I get started and it seems that the documentation uh, is not enough for many. So uh, in this series we'll try to explain ROS uh, using our technology and how you can build robots uh, using this framework. So let's get started uh, explaining what is ROS. ROS is the Robot Operating System, a framework for robot application development uh, maintained and developed by the Open Source Robotics Foundation based in California, Mountain View. ROS has changed the landscape of robotics. What traditionally could take a matter of months can now be done in a matter of days or even hours uh, with ROS. If you plan on working in robotics or are just interested and want to learn about it, you definitely need to learn about ROS. So this series about learning ROS uh, will be developed using early brain, our artificial robotic brain for making robots and drones. Using early brain over the last months, we've been able to build different kinds of uh, robots and drones. We've been able to build copters, flying vehicles, uh, we built also water-based vehicles such as that one over there, that boat, uh, also rovers such as this one here. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to our early brain. Uh, for that purpose we SSH with the user Ubuntu into early brain IP address. We use our password and there we go. We've got early brain uh, running snappy Ubuntu core. Now, uh, when installing ROS in most of the uh, real robots using embedded uh, computers, you'll find that ROS is not compiled for this architecture or maybe uh, for this release of the file system. So what you will need to do is to compile yourself the ROS packages. Uh, generally, this is done by creating a src directory that contains all the core packages of ROS and either cross-compiling it from your desktop or just compiling it directly uh, in your embedded computer. Uh, fortunately for you, uh, the robotics, we've uh, done this for you already and we've installed everything uh, in the default positions. So uh, ROS has been installed in slash opt slash ROS slash the corresponding version of ROS. And in this particular case, uh, we're using Indigo. And over here we have the uh, core packages uh, deployed of, of ROS.